Coventry United TV highlights are proudly sponsored by Coventry Motorcycles and Scooters, a family-run business providing an extensive range of new and used scooters, 125cc motorcycles and a wide selection of riding accessories. For more information, contact Roy on 02476 440011, email Roy at coventrymotorcycles.co.uk or visit in store at 288 Horsgrave Road, Coventry, CV2 4BL. It's wet, 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 and I'm not on about the 1980s pop group either. It's been raining through the country this morning, including here in the village of Kings Langley, making the pitch damp and slippery. It's a poacher's paradise, and it should make for an interesting match with plenty of slip-ups. Today's FA Women's National League Cup fixture sees title rivals clash just a week before their league meeting as Watford host Coventry United on CUTV with Lee. Liam Cook. I'm ready for a fantastic afternoon of football, a very wet Kings Langley FC. We have the league rivals going head to head Watford versus Coventry United, first and second in the FA Women's National League Southern Premier Division. It's all about the cup today though, as Gorlick tees up Jade Brook for one of those signature efforts from the edge of the penalty area. This time it doesn't pay off though, and it heads wide. Oh, Baranowska's goal. As Jeffries tried to catch up with it, but here's Amber Hughes, you know, to have another opportunity. Now Jeffries on the edge of the area, covered off. Now Gauntlet switches the play to Jade Brook, the player of the month for Coventry United Ladies. Brook, and it's palmed over the woodwork by Baron Oscar. Amber Hughes places the ball. Three red and green girls at the far post. Merritt, Miles, and Jeffries in there. Flicked on with the head. Merritt, bounces around the penalty area, Miles, cannons off the Watford defender, back out to Brook. Danger is not done for Watford so far, Miles, that's take a deflection, no it didn't, a volleyed effort skews wide. So we're going to take the caller is Kat Huggins, the Watford number three, short one to Fuqua. Huggins again, and flipped off the head of the Watford number 11, and sent over the crossbar by Helen Ward. Baker with the initial effort towards the goal, flicking off the head of the Watford attacker. He's in. Count the head of Merritt there, and Davin! Shanice Austin! Charged down by the goalkeeper Baranowska and cleared! With Merritt trying to get in on the action too. It comes back in from Amber Hughes, but it's coming off the Watford defender. Here's Jade Brook. Holds off Scanlon. Now Amber Hughes. Hughes tries one. An inch or two over the woodwork of Coventry United with two cracking opportunities to put one over on the Golden Girls in the opening 15 minutes. A lunge in by O'Leary, doesn't take Brooke off her feet. And poor defending can allow United in here with Amy Wavern. And if it wasn't for a brilliant parry by Baron Oscar, Watford would be behind. As the Golden Girls defence went to pot. It's cleared. Here's Brooke in the centre circle. McDonnell. Here's McDonnell. Swap wings again. McDonnell with a scuff pass. Wavin was the intended target, but it won't get past O'Halloran. But O'Halloran can only return it to Rosie McDonnell. Now Jay Brooke. Brooke covered off by Huggins. She needs support here. She's got Merritt and McDonnell down line, but Brooke. Goes alone, nodded down by the defender for Maz Gauntlet! Destination, bottom corner, Mazzy G strikes again! Jade Brook refused to give up. And once again, Watford failed to clear their line. And this time, the red and green girls made them pay with a sublime, powerful strike by Maz Gauntlet. You knew it was going to take something special to be Veronica Baranowska in the Watford net and that was indeed something very special. It's Watford nil, Coventry United 1. 
but the Red and Green Girls do have that crucial lead. Can they hang on to it? Well, they may not hang on to it for very long, and they wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for a brilliant stop with the legs of Sue Wood with a Fuqua one-on-one -on -one with the United captain. But there's one goal going to be a want in the women's game. In that situation, it's Sue Wood, ever composed, ever calm, ever collected. And the Hughes takes the responsibilities once more with just McGlone and Miles tracking back what for keeping their number 17 Linda Afukwa in the centre circle for a potential counter attack. You know, so we'll hope to ensure that that does not happen. Amy Wathen just about stopped on the line. And again the Golden Girls goalkeeper Baranowska able to avoid disaster for Watford. It ends all square after 90 minutes. We will go to extra time and potentially penalties. Not hassling and harrying the Watford defence all the way, but the Golden Girls have come out with the ball and a bit of space to work down the right hand side for Holsworth. But there's Austin who's getting it straight to Ward. Defensive calamity from Chinese Austin. But Sue Wood, a burst disaster for the Red and Green Girls, diving down low and sending Helen Ward's effort beyond the post. But Chinese Austin nearly gifted the Golden Girls a goal. Into the centre circle. Lofted ball looking for a Fuqua. Woods off a line. And Sue Wood again. <laughs> able to preserve her cliche as a Fuqua looked to square it for Ward in the penalty area. Wood was off her line, focusing more on a Fuqua than Ward as the Fuqua tried to find her teammate in the centre. Wood stretching just far enough. Who will it be? Matt's already got one under her belt today. Will she fancy a chance of a second or will Merritt have a go? It's Merritt to Gauntlet! Inches over. Austin slots it down the left. It's Amber Hughes with Holdsworth breathing down her neck. Amber Hughes slides it in. Lois Jeffries, that should do it! The red and green girls double their money. Just three minutes after the start of the second half. Amber Hughes doing all the heavy lifting. And Coventry United ladies make it two goals to nil in Kings Langley via the head of Lois Jeffries. So Coventry United ladies leading by two goals to nil. The Coventry United men's team up by four goals to nil. Watford could half that, but it's well held in the near post by Sue Wood. The cross from the right, aimed towards Ward. Austin picks up the goal kick. Gauntlet surges past Cairn into the centre circle. On the right is Amber Hughes. Hughes skips past their Fuqua. Gauntlet wants it, play on. An infringement by a Fuqua on Hughes. Gauntlet, lovely through ball to Jay Brock. What can the Red Wing girls do here? It's Lars Jeffries couldn't quite get him on the ball. McDonald to Amber Hughes and tipped over by Veronica Baranowska. Well, the Watford number one has been a busy girl today. It's Laura Baker onto it. Lovely through ball. Water half the deficit. She wasn't to me tonight that time. An exceptional through ball from Katie O'Leary. Finding Ward in eggs of space, one on one with Sue Wood. She's been denied a couple of times emphatically by the red and green girls shot summer today, but not that time. And Helen Ward gives the Golden Girls a golden opportunity to get back in this game. It's Watford 1, Coventry United 2. And there's been another goal at the Butts Park Arena. Coventry United now 5 0 up against Wednesfield as Watford are in search of another goal themselves off the head of Ward. This time the net does not rip on. The football was calling from the left hand side, but again that Watford passing lets them down. Austin with the interception. Now Merritt, Miles, now Erin Ridden. Mary, it wouldn't surprise me to see you know put on another defender. They've already got a, a back five on the go. What about a back six? It's not something you see every day. Jade Brook. Long range strike. Jade Brook! Pick that one out! It's an absolute bond solo from Jade Brook! And if he 
you surprised? Why? Why would you be surprised about Jade Brock scoring like one like that? She does it every week. Right in the section. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Keeper, pick that one out. My goodness, that was a beauty. And I think it's fair to say now, United's place in the next round is set. Coventry United ladies lead by three goals to one. And if you're going to wrap it up, wrap it up in style. Wofford coming in from the left. Rolled into the box. Janice Austin boots it away. Here's Holsworth. Ward. Holsworth makes the overlap. Return to Holsworth. Lovely football from Watford. Is there an end product? It is. It's an own goal. It's an own goal. And the fans have just turned the camera off. <laughs> oh, brilliant. As you do know, if the camera shakes, it turns itself off. So now we've got no footage. <laughs> Score remains. What for two? Coverage United free. An exciting ending to the match. And there's a plenty of space for Amber Hughes with the cross. McDonald, Jeffries. Heads wide. And a goal kick from Gibbs. No, it's a corner. It's a corner kick. There has been a deflection there. Gauntlet. This could end that though. Jeffries around Baron Oscar. Lois Jeffries blocked. Giorgio Halloran able to keep it out of the net, but United will have a second crack at it. And Coventry United, ladies, seal the deal. The referee blows the final whistle. Watford made a pretty good game out of it. But Jay Bradford's side were just a little too good for Watford. But it certainly sets up a fantastic match next Sunday in the FA Women's National League. The final score here at Kings Langley FC. Watford 2, Coventry United 3. And that will do us here on CUTV with Liam Cook.